Foreigners call it the British disease, a convenient but ill-defined label to describe our economic problems. They question our will to work, and it's certainly true that every year as the productivity of Japan, America and Europe grows, ours lags behind. This inability to create enough wealth has held back wages, investment and dividends. It's caused cuts in public expenditure and increased unemployment. Tonight we examine one possible reason, the class structure in British industry a system that separates workers from managers and managers from the executive. It's 8 o'clock in the morning and the men on the factory floor are already hard at work. Some of them after a last minute dash to get to the time clock by 7.45, clocking in time. The office block, on the other hand, is still empty because the office staff don't arrive until an hour later when they, too, have to clock in. Except, that is, for the managers, who presumably can be trusted for good timekeeping without a record card. Now, that may not seem particularly odd to you, and indeed it isn't odd. It happens in the majority of factories in Great Britain. But it is one example of the class structure in industry at work. And there are many others. Over there is the car park for the manual workers at this factory in Scotland, a hundred yards around the corner from the works gate. The white-collar workers park theirs a bit more conveniently on the corner, not so far to walk to the office. Management executives, on the other hand, have a place reserved for them, inside the gates and under cover. This lavatory is for members of the staff. Next to it is an identical one, but it's only for use by members of the board of directors. The directors eat in their own private dining room with a carpet on the floor. Next to that is the manager's dining room. On the floor, tiles. The other side of the kitchen, manual workers in dirty overalls sit on wooden benches, while white-collar workers, anxious to keep their clothes clean, sit on chairs. But there are more important differences than these. Anne-Marie is 17 years old and has been with the firm for eight months. Her job in the mailroom gives her staff status, so she gets sickness benefits. A trip to the dentist is in the firm's time. Her father, Jim, 15 years with the firm, is a driver. That's a manual grade, so he gets no sickness benefit. If he goes to the dentist, he clocks off and loses money. Anne-Marie has a working week of 37 and a half hours and gets 31 days holiday, including public holidays per year. Her father works a longer week, 40 hours, and gets two days less holiday per year. Anne-Marie will be eligible for the staff pension scheme when she's 21. There has been no pension scheme for her father to join, although a manual grade scheme will be introduced in the near future. That class structure, one standard for the management, another standard for the workers, exists in the majority of British factories. But there are some factories that have tried to do away with it, to harmonise standards so that everyone has the same basic approach to work. This is just such a factory, Tannoy, at Glasgow. It's a place where they've done away with the time clock, for instance, and the evidence at 25 past 8 in the morning, five minutes before starting time, is that people turn up, if anything, early. There's already a lot of workers sitting in the canteen having a pre-work cup of coffee.